We only need a handful of votes from the other region. I need to know that you'll accept. Excellence, I beg you, do not ask this of me. I'm not asking you. If you're elected, it won't be my decision. It will be God's. But don't refuse. Don't turn away. If you are elected, you must accept for Poland. Abemus Papa. With obedience and faith to Christ, my Lord. And with trust in the Mother of Christ and of the Church. In spite of the great difficulties, I accept. have called a new bishop of Rome. They have called him from a faraway land, far but always near through the communion of faith and in their Christian tradition. And so I present myself to you all to confess our common faith, our hope, our trust in the Mother of Christ and in the Church. I announce to you with great joy, we have a call. Pape Papa, Cardinal Wojtyła, Johannes Paulus Secundus. And also to start anew on the road of history and the church with the help of God and with the help of men. Is this all you possess, Holy Father? Why would I need more? I traveled to live, and I lived to travel. Holy Mother, believe me, I felt compelled to take the word of God to the 
people of the world. I did it for love of the other. I wanted to say to them, be not afraid. Open wide the doors for Christ. Stand straight, Karin Levishinsky, as you always have. I owe you a great deal. Without you and your faith, there would be no Polish Pope. Introduced the Minister of Defense, General Jaruzelski. so hot in Rome, I thought I'd come to Poland where it was bound to be cooler. You see, even a pop can be wrong. Mary leads the way to the kingdom of Christ victorious. I am a man of faith. And I learned to be one here. I will pray for you. We love you. Come closer to us. I shall always be close to you. Always. I have discovered in Rome it is not easy to leave Warsaw or Krakow behind. My heart has not ceased to be united with you. Holy Mother, forgive me in my life. I have sought for humility, all too rarely found it. Forgive my pride, for through pride I have made mistakes. I confess this to you. Thank you very much. Monsignor Jivish. Archbishop Romero, it's a pleasure to see you again. Is it possible I will have my audience with His Holiness today? It's possible, Your Excellency, but... Unfortunately, not very probable. The Holy Father has many demands on his time. Yes, I understand. But it's been weeks since he called me to Rome. Now, why would he call me here and then not see me? Leave it to me. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Monsignor. Thank you. My country, El Salvador, the government is killing priests as well as peasants. The situation gets worse every day. My dearest friend was murdered on his way to say mass. My vocation seems to be picking up corpses. Archbishop Romero, I understand your suffering, and I share it with you. But your teaching of so-called liberation theology is frankly a mistake. It's not theology at all. It's Marxism. With all due respect, Holy Father, if you think that, then you are the one who is mistaken. I have received so many complaints from the other bishops in El Salvador against your preaching. They demand that you stop. Holiness, I only teach the Gospels. Did not Christ speak for the poor and the oppressed? That's all I'm doing. No. You are splitting the church. I won't allow it. I love you. No one more than me welcomed your election as Pope. You are from Eastern Europe. You know tyranny and oppression at first hand. You are a liberator of the spirit and of the person. But it seems to me you do not understand Latin America. It's not the same as Poland. We are fighting the same fight, 
but in different ways, in a, in a different language. But always 